ourselves six more weeks of winter. I mean, do you have any advice? I don't know, man. Things are bleak out there. Ride it out, I guess. <laughs> My family's from Arizona, so if you can get in trouble for what your parents think, uh, it's been a good run. Tell me to find writers who understand my voice. My odd, haunting voice. Dude, what's the point of me? A weather-predicting groundhog in the year 2023? I'm useless. I'm like a condom in Nick Cannon's wallet. My dad's anti-COVID vaccine. Uh, he doesn't really believe in the virus. Which is crazy because every anti-vax article he sends me gives my computer 10 of them. We were texting each other the first week, like, good luck, break a leg. Then Molly texted, I have to kill. It's like, don't put that kind of pressure on yourself. Is it my turn yet? Sounds like you're jealous that your boyfriend is the real star. That's my grandpa. Shut up. But you did see your shadow. Honestly, I'm seeing shadows everywhere. You shouldn't cut anti-vax people out of your life. They could be dead tomorrow. I don't know, I've never had my picture taken before. That's a lie. Silence! You may be broke, but you can't give up hope. You gotta pack yourself with love. Sure, it's seven degrees now, but I, I jog in shorts on Tuesday. You jog? It's called a resolution. And I wasn't about to do dry January, you know what I mean? <laughs> Alcohol! <laughs> the only cool way to wet the bed. Oh. <laughs> Spend time with them, call them, get in the will. Open cell 663. You'll float too! <laughs> At first I was worried about getting COVID, but my doctor assured me it's fine now. I'm triple vaxxed, quadruple if you count HPV. So it's my time to shine. Side effects of COVID include having COVID, which is still kind of bad, but doesn't it seem different now? Because of wildfires, this is what the sun looks like in California for like weeks at a time. Oh. It's like you're on a Star Wars planet, not even a good one, like one of those dusty poor ones. <laughs> well, Colin, I don't want to shock you, but my dad doesn't hate that guy. <laughs> my brain's already really bad. If it gets 10% worse, but I don't have to talk to a single person for a week, I'll take that deal in a horse beat. You mean a heartbeat. <laughs> Either way, thanks, COVID. Black hell at all. Okay, no, this cannot happen. It's literally my first day. Oh, you're like a bad groundhog. I'm not a bad groundhog. I just like good beaver. Oh, man. It's not one of those anti-vax Arizona liberals you're always reading about. <laughs> no, no. Do not film these three cousins kissing. And I prepared this family tree so we know who the hell everyone is. I'm trying to keep my mind right by getting back to the basics. Touching the grass, eating the grass, smoking the grass. You know, those top hat people touch me. That's probably why I drink. What? You heard me. When I found out my dad was voting for Trump, I sat him down and I told him, hey, you keep going down this path, I might have to pay for my own car insurance next year. Well, it was my first day and I'm assuming it's my last, so. In that case, what the hell? Look what I can do. Ooh. I've also prepared a chart of who's having sex with whom. And weirdly enough, it's the same as the family tree. Look, at the end of the day, I just want to live a long, peaceful life and then die of natural causes. That's actually very sweet. Well, for a groundhog, natural causes means getting obliterated by an 18-wheeler on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. Oh, my God, man. They say you can't even feel it. I'll let you know. Huh? Then he told me how much it was, and I said, well, I didn't know that when I said that, so... <laughs> exactly. And his comments about Jewish people. I mean, way off the mark. <laughs> it's wonderful to see you, since you are betrothed to my nephew slash stepson's Jason Luke. Uh, do you consider stepmom's family? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Ah, shoot. <laughs> Thanks, Debra. The PGA Tour is in full swing. Pun. <laughs> this is gonna be hard for me to enjoy listening to Kanye for a while. Same. That's why I set all my Yeezys on fire. I mean, they're only sneakers, right? <laughs> you get it. I imagine a lot of people in your family are Republican. Well, not, not, not really. <laughs> oh, just you? I mean, I can understand an initial skepticism, but if the president of the United States says it's safe... Usually I'm like anarchy, chaos, burn the system to the ground. 
But if I'm in boarding group A, I am like, well, order must prevail. I mean, we are a society. <laughs> Happy holidays, Colin. Happy holidays, Michael. So your parents are divorced. Was that hard for you? No. <laughs> what is going on in Georgia? It's the Bible Belt. And this country will never progress until we separate God and politics. <laughs> I remember one time a kid on the playground told me, you know, your parents had sex to have you. And I was like, well, I don't think they've met, so that's stupid. <laughs> hey, you know what I finally watched? That dumb thing they had on Netflix. Oh, that was so good, right? I mean, not... <laughs> not good as in he's good. Just, I thought it provided some needed insights. Hello there, I'm making marzipan. Is the recipe a secret? Yes. Is it just almonds? Yes. Do you mush them up? Yes. And then it's marzipan? Yes. Well, sure, you, you were aware that at some point they'd met, right? I wasn't, and don't call me Shirley. <laughs> some... I wish they made more shows that everybody could enjoy. Oh, like Atlanta, they're killing it this season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or Abbott Elementary. Or Yellowstone. Yellow what? <laughs> there are perks to having parents that are always getting married and, you know, divorced and married again. You ever ask for a brother for Christmas and actually get one? <laughs> Let's see if the batch is ready. Mmm, yuck, it's perfect. <laughs> oh! Oh, I guess it's already 6.05. Well, that's it for my shift. Um, Troy, thank you again for letting me work in your barber shop. It's man. all good, Philip. Don't you worry about a thing. Hopefully tomorrow I'll uh, get a customer. <laughs> and I didn't have to wait for him to grow up. He came off the shelf, ready to go. We were playing catch that day. <laughs> and remember, it must be refrigerated and consumed within 50 years. Did you write this song? Did I write Jingle Bells? Yeah. No. Wow, well, that, that must have been nice. Must have been. It was. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're going on an adventure. How oh, nice. Y'all enjoy now, OK? Bye-bye. He going to kill her. You're autoimmune? Do I look like somebody who's not autoimmune? <laughs> Scores 9 to 9. The cul-de-sac game night be wilder. Like, you have my real dad, who's very strict and quiet and wears suits. And then you have my newest dad, Terry, who's a semi-nudist I've seen naked 43 times. Yeah, I'm a real athlete. My hair is skin, Michael. <laughs> any final questions? Yeah. I was wondering if you have any tips on coping with having a big old forehead. What's up, fellas? Can I get a towel, por favor? Oh! My friend is on the door legal! Ah. <laughs> I cannot stress this enough. My hair is entirely skin, and it has been the great tragedy of my life. And I'll tell you this, Colin, when you see your mom's boyfriend naked, you think a lot of things, but you don't think it's gonna happen 42 more times. <laughs> you know, I had to show you a little taste. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, Michael, for racism. <laughs> Maybe I was just blind to it. I mean, my glasses are literally opaque white. I'll be talking with Pinocchio from Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. <laughs> gonna scare us so many kids. So are you, are you saying you're then pro-divorce? Well, my dad is a divorce attorney, so put food on my table. <laughs> That's all about to change. Race war's coming. You ready, Michael? What? <laughs> are you ready? Because Dilbert's ready. I woke up this morning ready to take the streets and paint the city with the blood of the white man. Whoa. <laughs> Gracias, Toto del Baño. <laughs> but he was still a great dad. He, like, he told me everything a kid should know. You know, brush your teeth, do your homework. If infidelity can't be proven, they're only entitled to 30%. <laughs> Big bright moon hanging in the sky. Never my lap. I know! <laughs> <laughs>